बिसमिल्ल रन रहीम डी स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट वी के दिस इज़ योर ओन प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कम एंड लर्न एंड वी हियर एट ऑफिस डॉट कॉम ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड यू विद द बेस्ट शेड्स ऑफ नॉलेज इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज़ हेल्प अस ग्रो एंड इम्प्रूव सो इफ़ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट दैन प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट एनी न्यू वीडियो कैन रीच यू ईजीली also do share your views in the comment section your positive views will make us more passionate and the mistakes and discrepancies indicated by you will help us improve our content so also share it to your fellow students so that more and more students and people can benefit from the knowledge thank you so much now let us move towards our today's topic that is as you can see translation we have studied about transcription in the previous video also we have discussed the genetic code which exists as uh, codons codon is basically a combination of three nucleotides now basically we are studying gene expression how a gene expresses itself and this is divided into two steps the first one was transcription in order to see the details of transcription you can see the previous videos the transcription is uploaded in three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 the second step is translation okay i was reading your comments and uh, i saw one of uh, the student from i think um, he or she he belongs to india and uh, he indicated that the pronunciation for amino acid is not amino acids it's amino acid so i consulted different uh, youtubers who are teaching online also i saw uh, the pronunciations so both amino acid and amino acid they are both used frequently so up to your convenience whatever you like to use in pakistan mostly in mostly uh, lectures we use the pronunciation of amino acid it's not amino acid here so uh, there may be the difference of uh, the regions so it's okay if you want to use amino acid it is amino acid for you as per your convenience well thank you so much for adding it to my knowledge uh, because of you i was able to learn that there are various pronunciation of this word thank you so much so see this is the mutual uh, relationship of learning thank you so much for uh, commenting so gene expression is basically uh, <clears throat> completed in two steps the first one is transcription and uh, the second one is translation so transcription was basically the formation of messenger rna copy of the dna after that formation messenger rna is released out of the nucleus into cytoplasm as soon as it enters the cytoplasm it meets ribosomes and ribosomes have ribosomal rna so messenger rna combines with ribosomal rna and together they synthesize protein protein synthesis will become, begin in this whole process transfer rna also helps this whole complex because transfer rna brings the required amino acid or according to you people it's amino acid so amino acids will be brought by transfer rna and they will join here at the ribosomes as the ribosomes are the protein synthesizing factories the transfer rna which is basically involved here 
first of all i'll tell you the details theoretically then we will see it in the form of a diagram <clears throat> so in prokaryotes the process of translation will begin when the initial portion of messenger rna will bind to ribosomal rna in the ribosomes the messenger rna lies on the ribosome in such a way that at one time only one codon is exposed at the polypeptide side synthesis so uh, for synthesis so a transfer rna molecule the trna which is uh, in the form of a j word alphabet j this is trna <clears throat> so this trna possesses the complementary three nucleotide sequence the sequence which is on messenger rna so the complementary sequence will be here for example the synthesis starts with aug you know it is a start codon aug and it codes for methionine so aug will be the sequence on messenger rna and its complementary sequence will be present here on transfer rna ua g this is also rna so here there will be no thymine there will be uracil so this uag will be the complementary sequence or the complementary three nucleotide the complementary anticodon sequence this is anticodon this is anticodon sequence for the codon which is present on messenger rna so it will bind to the exposed codon which is uh, on messenger rna so as the messenger rna molecule it moves through the ribosomes the successive codons they will be exposed and the transfer rna will bring more and more here the amino acid is attached so the transfer rnas will come according to the sequences or the codons which are present on messenger rna and the series of uh, uh, transfer rna molecules they bind one after the another to the exposed codons each of the transfer rna molecule carries the amino acid which is added to the end of the growing polypeptide chain energy is used in the form of atp at every step so generally if we describe the process of translation <clears throat> then it is actually binding of messenger rna to ribosomes and ribosomal rna then exposure of the codon first of all binding then exposure of codon then there will be arrival of trna or transfer rna with amino acid then addition of amino acid to polypeptide chain and at last the release of the polypeptide chain so energy is used in the form of atp at every step of the process now particular rna trna molecules they will be attached to specific amino acid through the action of activating enzymes that are called amino acyl trna synthetase this binding of amino acid to transfer rna is governed by amino acyl trna synthetase these enzymes are also known as activating enzymes one of which exists for each of 20 amino acid there are 20 amino acids so there are 20 different these enzymes 20 enzymes for 20 amino acids so up till now we have discussed generally what is translation it is basically the uh, second step of gene expression in which 
the messenger rna it binds to ribosomal rna which is present in the ribosomes and ribosomes they are present outside the nucleus when messenger rna which is synthesized in transcription it enters the cytoplasm then it becomes attached to <coughs> ribosomal rna in the ribosomes and it starts the protein synthesis in the protein synthesis they are helped by transfer rna because transfer rna will bring the required amino acids for the whole process um in transfer rna there is complementary three nucleotide sequence or anticodon for codon which is present in the messenger rna for example <coughs> the start codon is aug which codes for methionine is present on messenger rna so a transfer rna with an opposite code that is uag will bring methionine to the messenger rna and it will be attached on messenger rna and furthermore transfer rnas with required amino acids will come and ultimately they will be added to the growing polypeptide chains and then the chains will be released from the ribosomes because ribosomes are protein factory energy is used in the form of atp at every step now let us see each and every step one by one 